Three, two, we're live. This is 2OF Entertainment. Hey, we are here. Ooh, we don't want to show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now yeah. you can hear me. Oh, I can actually hear you. Yeah, we had some, wow, some gremlins. Awesome. Some gremlins mm-hmm. this morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we I are back, we everybody. Up. Welcome to another exciting episode of No Snobs or Noms. The news you didn't need to the, the know that you needed to know. Needed to know to need to know. Need to know to know the need to know to know that you need to know this news. So yeah, that three times and, fast. Yeah, and that's actually uh, so. The show is actually on a need to know basis. So <laughs> that's why you only get. So I only get like a hundred viewers, David. So. Yeah, so if so, if you don't need to know, then uh, then don't bother. You don't need but, to be uh, here. No, no. But uh, no let's 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 go straight in this week. And, um, okay. And uh, we have. Let's have a look. Um, you need help there, pal. Yeah, just to get that one up. Oh, here we go. There you so go. this week's uh, we this week's audience is, ladies and gentlemen, we have them specially bust in today. Um, it's from the Jiggy Jiggy crew, and oh, they've wow. come into the studio specially to see the show. And um, their motto is applauding all things that move with rhythm. So thank you, guys. I thought they could go with the I thought it was There you the go. Girl, it's so, girl with fake boobs. That's the jiggle jiggle crew. That's the, well. There's there's quite a few of them in today, and um, they, they've come in to see the show. So why? Let's move, let's move straight <laughs> on. Let's, All right, let's Jesus, straight man. On. Can you make this stuff smaller? Anyway, no snobs yeah. or knobs. Our show yeah, today so. is strange and weird facts. Rant yeah. of the week. Um, what else do we have? Mike's Not answering true. machine. Okay. Yeah. On this day, no, lost no. words, Navi news, sex horoscope, conspiracy theories. Could you live here in the AI slut of the week? All right, there yeah. we go. That's okay, what's going on okay. We, so we week. got a we got a, a fun packed show this week. So let's go with that. All right, strange, strange and weird, weird facts. facts. Which creature can sleep in three three years straight? A snail yeah. or a tortoise? Or a sloth. There's no sloth there. Yeah, no, it's at the bottom. Oh, a sloth? Oh, it must be covered up by my thing. There we go. So yeah. what can I I would go with a snail can street I can yeah, can sleep for three years straight. Okay. Well uh, yeah. we'll uh, bag that one up. We'll put that one in the in the crime scene bag All like right. we did last week. And there you um, go. Uh, uh, we come back to that. So we would just like to tell all the thousands of people. That watch the show, don't Google it and cheat. Wait until the end because it's a yeah. big reveal. You mean our, the one fan that watches? Okay. Hello to the uh, one fan re- that watches. Okay. Big, re- big reveal, reveal. So, um, okay. So let's move on. Rant of the week. Yeah. All right. So you're Just up first. Smiling over if again you have from a Beaver Lick. No, no. What, what, uh, I, I, I haven't, uh, I'm not going to reveal that. We'll keep, keep everybody in suspenders. But, uh, do you have a rant before we move on to yes, the Yes, I, oh, I do. I do. I I read an article that said people over 45 in the workplace, I think we talked about this as well, are considered old. And my rant yeah. is, what the fuck? Just some little teenager that doesn't know what the hell they're doing. They're taking over people with experience because they think older people don't know tech. Older people are smarter than tech than the young people. It's just annoying. That's true. <clears throat> that's true. That's been proved. But yeah, so that's just annoying to that- me that these little snot nose know nothings don't hire 45 to say 70 since everyone's living to be 100 now what are we going to do with these people and the government apparently doesn't want to take care of them so now what are we going to do with them well well, uh, so like enough's enough like get off your high horses you don't know jack shit you just don't want to have somebody older working for you because they have a work ethic and you don't so let's just be blunt about it the younger generation i think the thing is no work ethic the thing is that that, that uh, it would appear that people above forty-five are not very good on your football tables. So you know, yeah, you can't really and, if, and, and the companies I run, if anybody plays football, we fire them. 
We have oh, work to do. We're not there. there we're not there to like kumbaya. You're there to make money. I like the the no. one thing I will say about the new Trump administration. They're getting rid of this woke crap. So I'm kind of excited about that. Okay. Right. Well, let's move on to a serious rant. Then apart from you. Oh just, yeah, let's do that. That'd just, be great. Just going off on one. Yeah. <laughs> voicemails. Why do people yeah. still leave voicemails? Yeah. We have texting now. Voicemails are just mini podcasts um, that no one listens to. Yeah, that's. Uh, I don't that's agree with Miss, that. That's from Miss Eileen Dover. Yeah, she just got a, she just got an answering machine last week. She has no call. So. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, so you, uh, you know, I I leave voicemails on my on, instead of texting, on the on oh. the and the text messaging. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Well, let's uh, let's let's move on. Okay. This is a, a new sec new section of the week. <clears throat> yeah, this is a new thing called Mike's answering machine because um, we've been inundated with messages. I mean, like so many since, them. since the, the last couple of weeks, as you know, we've been featuring some of the stuff that's coming onto the, the answer machine. However, yeah. because of uh, budgeting restrictions, we have budgeting restrictions. We do, right. and the fact we're that any, yeah, I, we're not getting rid of the jet. I'm just telling you right now. So yeah, well, and 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 the fact that um, you know that uh, Mr. Trump is is also coming to power and, and has cut our budget somewhat. <coughs> excuse me. Then we have actually had to um, to share, really, for want of a better word, our our uh, our answering machine yeah. uh, with with one of our one of our one of our crew here. A guy yeah. called Mike. So okay. we've done our very best, but uh, occasionally there may well be bits and pieces from him on the answering machine. I'm not sure, but um, uh, Mike, thank you very much. And uh, let's just see what our what the first message was that we received this week on the No Snobs and Knobs answering machine. Joy, eleven o'clock on Friday. We're still at Peggy O'Neill's. Oh, it's Joy again. Last Friday I dreamed you died, but Sunday you rose from the dead. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, thank you, Mike, for that. Um, uh, what, 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 <laughs> I mean, really? Yeah, we're good. We can go to the next. We can go to the next bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know it's your, I know it's your answering machine, and you know we haven't had time to get everything off it. As but Johnny Carson work. would say, "You're not coming to the couch." Next, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's going to be a lot more stuff uh, because uh, Mike, he, because Mike has lent us his, his answering machine yeah. because he of just lost half the audience. But that's good. So, uh, that's awesome. But uh, that's yeah. that. You, we we just need to move forward on the show. Yeah, we do. We definitely do. On this day, all right. What happened? On, on, on this day, yeah. On this day in 1985, Microsoft releases Windows 1.0, November 20th, 1985. Microsoft Windows 1.0 was launched on this day, significant milestone in personal computing. Though the software was rudimentary by today's standards, paved the way for the Windows operational system evolution, which would go on to become a staple in homes and businesses worldwide. Well, like whoopee friggin' do. Is, are they sponsoring us today? Uh, no. No. Okay. Well, well we're, we're, we are actually looking for a sponsor. We We thought that somebody from the Jiggy Jiggy crew would help us with a new answering machine. But, that would um, be plastic surgery, and plastic surgery people. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll have to move on from that. So uh, what do you think? Are you impressed by that or not? I mean, I, uh, no. You can tell by my reaction, I'm underwhelmed. <laughs> You're gone. I yeah, whoever well, did that, week, take him out back like a horse and shoot him. He's, he won't be here next week. Okay, good. Okay, so right. So let's 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 let's, let's move on. All right. Lost words. Oh, okay. Lost words. Okay. Here we, go. Here we go. This is specially for you, Stephen. Lost words. Bum, bum fizzle. Bum fuzzle. Fizzle. Wow. Fuzzle. Bum fuzzle or fuzzle. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what the meaning of the? It's rude or vulgar or um. Bum or a fizzle. job title. <laughs> it's, it's somebody. It's somebody whose bum is fizzle. Maybe it's ah oh, gay guys doing anal sex. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but um, right. yeah, you're going to stick with that, are you? 
So well, um, we'll say, I, mean, we, it's either, I have no idea what it is. It's the only thing I can come up with because it says a bum and it's fizzle. So I figure it's the first time someone's like, hey, baby. And they're like, ooh, wrong okay. hole. Go ahead. All so. right. Well, uh, let's, let's build some suspense here. A bum fizzle means to confuse or fluster someone. It's a playful yeah. term that could easily fit into modern conversations. I uh, know, yeah. unless you're modern conversations from the 17th century. And two, yeah. I never get bum fiddle. So, but it's very cute. Well, I like the word. Yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, okay. there you go. So you're, I'm, I'm having a bit of a bum fuzzle at the moment. Bum fuzzle. So, uh, right. Yeah. So what do you think? Are we, is, is that a good one or not? Are we, are we oh, why not? I mean, sure. Yeah. You could go up to someone and go, you bum fuzzled me. And they'll be like, what did I do for you? Yeah. Next time I have yeah. sex, I'm going to say you. But I'm going to bum fuzzle you, and they're going to be like, "What? Yeah, the bum hell? fuzzle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're going to think yeah. it's a dirty term. I like it. Yeah, so. yeah. Right. So it's uh, about to to bum fuzzle people with your expanded knowledge of being a gong farmer. Oh so, my um, god. Yeah. It's, uh, right, all right. Let's let's move on. Where are we going to go to next? Nobby news of the week. Thank God, oh, finally, the real, gonna, real, the to... real part of the show. It only took eleven yeah. minutes to get there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, I mean, so who's responsible for this one? Hanky panky, all about me, panky, Right. This guy. This guy. Yeah, hanky, hanky, panky. So we should. Mm -hmm. There may well be some good stuff in here because hanky. Well, listen to carry it away. Let's go. Just carry it away. Yes, there's good stuff in here or not. We don't know. Number one, Grandma 110 reveals her secret to living longer is a can of beer every day. Bridget Agurki from Perth, of course, West Australia, is yeah. about to turn 110 and is opened up with the secret of long living is eating healthy, having sex with 20 year olds, being kind, and also drinking a can of emu beer every day. Every day. Yeah. Every day, as well as um, potentially uh, life-giving beer. Bridget also attributes many years uh, more commonly associated with living longer is eating healthy, having a big penis, really, um, and a big family, being kind and not taking life too seriously and yeah. getting laid by 20-year-olds. Okay, well, that's good for you. Congratulations, yeah. Grandma. You're all right, yeah, Grandma's 100. I like it. Ooh, all righty, hey. you guys, there we go. Hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah, calm down. It's, you didn't do it. Hanky did it, right? It's only the first one. Grandma, 110 Mate. drinking beer, getting late. Yeah, Gotta there you go. Emu there beer. You go. Is that right. the name of the beer? Emu beer? Emu beer, yeah. Wow, yeah. must have real live emus in it. It's hard to stick yeah, it in must the can. Do. Must yeah. do, must do, must do. But to keep on, to keep the sort of theme running, yeah. uh, maybe it's got maybe it's got emu sperm in it, you know, because we, we, we like to keep on that theme. For the next couple of weeks or so. Right, up uh, number two then. Guy this dresses is, in uh, a bear costume, fake attacked, fake attacks on cars in wild insurance scam. Why yeah. is this only in California? A group of four people were arrested and charged with insurance fraud after claiming a bear entered and damaged their luxury car, but the bear was actually a person in a costume. Idiots. <laughs> when the claimants in Southern California provide the video of the animal in action, insurers smelt something fishy. Uh, there's something a little bearable there. It yeah. wasn't um, the bear's breakfast. They were suspect the bear wasn't a creature at all. It was a person in a costume doing all the damage. Um, the insurers that even some of the wildlife experts to confirm their suspicions. So a guy dresses as a bear to fake his car auto scam. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. Not good that, as grandma. Okay, okay, so it's that, that all right, so um, so that's a bit of a little, uh, yeah. yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, whoever wrote it will just break their legs. Okay, number three. Okay, let, let's let, let's move on. Number three, number three. Oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, uh, keep it together now, Stephen. This is only called uh, Hanky did this stuff, yes, so yeah, he's, so, he's, so he's, definitely he's been a on a roll. Okay, kids. Not, being in the shower is good for us and for the planet, says health. But uh, health who? Boffins. Buffoons? Not boffin. no, uh, boffins. boffins? Looks like a buffoon yeah. to me. Being yeah. in the shower is good for us and the planet, Boffin says. Yeah. They 
in ten Britons admit, admit peeing while washing. Yeah, because they don't have they don't have toilets or loos. Doctor says it can be calming, and the UK could save a massive two or four hundred and twenty six million pounds in water bills each year. Combining bath yeah. and tinkling. And if your yeah. partner likes to be peed on, she gets a golden shower. So there you go. Yeah, there you go. Um, so we have a tinkle. I don't know who he is. Um, she, she's doctor. general, pra general oh, practitioner. Okay. A doctor. All the, doctor Honey Patel, may I get you a slippy star? Explained and said, men with the peeing issues, I'm sorry, uh, men with issues um, passing urine found that listening to the sounds, oh, that, get your prostate fixed, you fucking losers. Okay. Actress Gwyneth Pathwell. Well, yes, I take all my healthy advice from Gwyneth Pathwell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shared healthy advice on her blog about um, Google, Google. About about peeing pelvic. in the shower to strengthen pelvic, pelvic floor, floor muscles. muscles. No, that's called having sex, Bambi. Um, so no, it's I, the begin. You should have just left the beginning. Peeing in the shower is good for us, and especially girls that like golden showers. So we're just going to make number three the golden shower. I like the golden it. shower. Okay. No, so no, the golden okay. shower. And remember, you you go, go to Hilgo's House of Pain. You get the golden shower. Mention the show after ice. Okay, there you go. Very sponsor. Number four. I think this house of pain should be a sponsor, David. I think we'll have to do a commercial for them next week. So, yeah, you know, maybe maybe she'll bust a whole load of people in. Who knows? You know, and the nice thing with Hilgo's House of Pain, golden showers. If you mention the show this week only, fifty percent off. This week only. Um, yeah. The greeting, the greeting advert from Artificial Grass. Yeah. Which mocked woman is banned. Yeah. What the heck? An artificial turf company has been instructed to remove a billboard ad in which it deemed to be belittling and objectifying women. Good yeah. for them. Who cares? The advert green grass in oh, Falls Fails Worth, the United with, Kingdom, right. bunch of yeah. pussies. No wonder you lost in 1776. Soda woman in skin-toned underwear, I like it, clutching a potted plant, yeah, I'm sure she was, and her crotch. Her crotch yeah. was catching up. I want to see this billboard. And the caption was, no trimming needed, followed by a wink emoji. I love it. This one wins no matter what. Um, one complaint uh, that the sexual and objectified women labeling is offensive, harmful, and irresponsible. No, it's not. Yeah. It's called humor, you stupid idiots. That's why you lost the war. Um, the company argued that it was incorrect to presume that an individual featuring an ad was a woman um, saying it could be equally a man. Or a transgender. Stop with that bullshit. You're either a man or a woman. No transgender. Stop with this. No, but I, I, I think I think it was their sort of their way of getting back at people bitching about it. You know, so, well, you I know, think hey, yeah, I can care know. less about that part. I think it's a stare. I like this caption. Um, no trimming needed. Uh, this yeah. one so far is the winner. Um, the woman, artificial grass mock. I love it. It's the best. Uh, if this company watches the show and listening, we want you to come on the show and, and with your billboard, and we will use that as the opening for this show next week. I love it. This is an excellent, yeah. excellent thing. Right. But we haven't finished yet. All right? He hasn't sit Number five. Finished. Wait. And put that down. Right, uh, number five. Here we yeah. go. Comes after four. I know. Where we got? Number five. Tourist toss yep. coins over a makeshift pool at Rome's city fountain undergoes maintenance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nobody cares. Well, I, I, I thought this was great. Probably. I think yeah, I mean, this one. tourists eager I mean, to return to the internal city are being forced to toss coins over a plastic barrier into a small makeshift pool in front of Rome's Tivia fountain. Which is attracted uh, and drained for maintenance, the rejection yeah. box, blah, blah, blah. They correct a million five euros a year, which is 1.6 million annually. The cackle cherry. Yeah, nobody cares. Yeah. Well, nobody you cares. know, I've just, uh, just, just thought that rather than this just one? having, uh, I just want to hankies this one, but right. the brother, they rather than just have, you know, like close the whole thing down. No. Right, they're still trying to make money because it's a Catholic yeah. church and you're the little scumbags and they're trying to. Scam whatever right. they so, so, so yeah. they put they put a plywood and plastic pool so you can throw money into that instead. ridiculous that's ridiculous yeah you know, i mean I, I thought that was quite a good one myself but um I, I, what about yeah. you 
Apparently, we know how I feel about it. Yeah, there you go. It's a good thing well, that Hanky the... Hanky had a couple other good ones, like the Golden Shower. Oh, it's, we're, we're, we're one down, Hank. We're one down, mate. So let's see. Let's That's see. Right. We've one got morning the, final one, the final one coming up. Here we go. All right. Here we go. The final one is. Oh, my God. Here we go. Ah, uh, you remember her? Baby, you remember her? Me, me. Yeah, I know. The Pygmy Hippo Moo Moo. Moo Moo yeah. Bang has an artificial, as an official song in four, are you kidding me, in four languages. Yeah. In case you don't get enough of the little pygmy, whatever his name is, No Snobs or Knobs, Moo Doo Ding Bong, Boom Bong, Thailand, is now an official song featuring the internet's favorite baby animal released in four languages for her global fans. The upbeat 50-second yeah. song, Moo Ding Mang Ding, available in Thailand, English, Chinese, oh, I'm sorry, available in Thai, English, Chinese, uh, oh, in Japanese, oh, very nice. Um, features some lyrics like, Moo Ding, Moo Ding. Oh, oh my God, Mommy, Mommy, play with me. Well, you get that at Hilgar's House of Pain, too. Yeah. It's a music video that consists of short clips of the baby hippo bouncing and playing with her keeper and hanging out with her mom. Yeah. Uh, well, we, had, we, we just had so much feedback from last week, and you and you loved it. I know you loved. I like the baby. It. The baby hippo. It's not going to win this week, but the baby hippo is always my a favorite. Um, and I'm just I'm really mooding, mooding, bong, 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 mommy, mommy, play with me. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, That's I mean, just any, wrong on any, so many levels. That's kind of exactly. like the billboard with the girl on the artificial turf with the plant yeah. between her legs saying no trimming necessary. I love it. Yeah. Well, this okay. song is well, this okay. song is this song has more sexual innuendos than that billboard, and people are too stupid to know it. Love it. <laughs> there we go. Well done, Hanky. Well there done, mate. That's uh that's all right, you're here next week. He mm -hmm. isn't, but you are. Right, uh, okay. <laughs> right, uh, let's, uh, let's... Well, you uh, know, it's, it's a tough choice. It's a tie this week. Oh, the two winners are going to be... Oh, the hippo song, the hippo song, the hippo song, because it has sexual innuendos that people yeah. are too stupid to see. And, of course... The advertising for the artificial grass, that is those two, if you will, piece of resistance. Love them both. Okay. Those are good. Number okay. four and six are the winners this week. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah, very good. Yeah, well, yeah, that's it. We're getting there. Okay, let's yeah, move on. Not bad. Let's I mean, the others were good too. There's only the one that was really stupid. So uh, only one that's really stupid. Okay, well, I, don't know, I have to uh, go this... back and look. There's, I think there was two, but the four of them two, were good. Two, one or anyway. two. I mean, it, it, does, it does help if you keep you know keep up with the show, Stephen. But I know. Well, you yeah. know, I'll, next okay. week, next week. Okay, sex okay. horoscope for all the people that think they're going to get laid this week. Yeah, yeah. This is and the so segment this... that ninety percent of the fans hate. But it's the ones that get here's what's funny about our sex horoscopes. People hate it, but it's the most viewed thing and rewatched thing on the show. Yeah, exactly. And so, because we had a lot of uh, feedback, uh, it's uh, it's been uh, totally revamped. So oh here God. we go. Let's, Let's just see, see what's going to happen for all you lot next week. Welcome to this week's edition of No Snobs and Knobs Sex Horoscope where we spin the wheel of fortune to see how much nookie you're going to get this week. Oh, we spoke, oh it's the same chick. Yeah? yeah. Oh, well, Aries yeah. is getting 88%. 88%, yeah. But, uh, you know, okay. just, just wait, just wait, Steve. The suspense is building. I'm yeah, the suspense I'm waiting. Building. Here we go, here we go. I, I didn't get was there was suspense there. Yeah, there was. Yeah. I, I must have. You, oh, now we're talking. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Taurus, yeah. 73%. Finally. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Now you there feel you like you're going to have sex. Look at this girl. Yeah. Oh, her hair. Ah, oh, it's a beauty. Very yeah. nice. And it's all, all the graphics oh, wait, have been she smiled. Updated. She's British. Never just mind. She smiled. Just yeah. No. Let's treat her like a horse. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, chewing a glass. Horoscope, 95% for the Gemini. Look yeah, they're at it again. Cute. She's kind of cute. They're at it again. Look at it. You're going to chew your glasses? Not going to chew the glass? Oh, a little wink. Oh, Very nice. Yeah, I like yeah, it. Just oh, for you, just look for at you, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks like a librarian. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the segment's much better now, as you can tell. 
All right, let's see. Oh, thank you. oh cancer, eighty nine percent. And this blonde, what do you have a problem with your well, neck? She, no, what is she's her a problem. Uh, she's, what is she? Is she dead? She's, she's, she's a, a ghost. What the heck? Look at this. Look at what's your problem? Oh, you giggled. You thought that was funny. Get out of here. Yeah. I don't think you're getting next. Next, Bambi. There we go. Yeah. All right. I'm liking this. This is very sexist. All right. What else we got? Oh, Leo, fifty-seven Leo, percent. Leo. And you're gonna bite into a strawberry, and you're not even getting laid this week. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at yeah. oh, that's not oh, look at you. Look at you biting the strawberry, you Leo, at fifty-seven percent. Yeah. Yeah, it's only fifty-seven percent, so you're gonna have a lot of strawberries this week. I was just gonna say she better eat a lot of strawberries this week. What else we got? Ooh, Virgo, seventy-one percent. What are you sucking yeah. on? Hey now, oh, for you people on the podcast, it's just a she's small on the store. She's, she's on the store. Yeah, she's yeah. I don't even know. I don't, it doesn't look like she swallows though. She didn't swallow that. It looks no, like she spit it no. up. So that's not good. But anyway, she's yeah. a Virgo at seventy-one percent. Very nice. Don't forget to, to talk about the happen. horoscope, Stephen, and not. Oh, and not Libra just the sex eighty-six percent. We have a hot Asian chick doing. What the hell is she doing? What is she? She's what are you doing? Uh, massage? What the heck? Yeah, what are you doing with your hand? What the heck? She's loose, the thing in the world. Thing. What are you doing? She's, she's scratching her skin. What are you doing? A, a dry hair massage? Hey, hey. Hey, hey. All right, who's next? Oh, Scorpio, fifty-one percent. Yeah, she looks like she's not getting laid. Yeah, no, don't even open your mouth. She looks like she's yeah. never going to have sex. This girl. Oh yeah, yeah then who knows? I could see that. Scorpius. You can just look at her and go, you know, she's yeah, she, yeah. You can tell. I think she works oh. at Hilda's House of Pain. Yeah, that's no, not, I think yeah, she does. not a good look. All right, next is Sagittarius at 99%. Oh, no, this girl's not cheating. getting laid. I don't she's care if she's 100%. This chick's not going to get sex. She's not getting yeah. laid. This is totally wrong. She's the wrong girl for the, yeah, thank you. I love you too. Um, But yeah, yeah, no, she's not. Yeah, she's not happening. Yeah. So she's happening for somebody. Somebody for somebody's giving her to her. All right, let's see. Oh, Capricorn, 82%. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's it. She's just looking at us. Oh, yeah, I'm she's sorry, you're doing a little lip thing? Very nice. She's a, oh, very she's, a yeah, she, she's a yummy mummy, this one, I think. She, oh, this was, oh, a MILF. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. What do we have? Our next one is Aquarius. It's 71%. We have a yeah. blonde in the desert oh, uh, playing with her blonde. hair, like all blondes. If you line five of her friends come up and you blow in their ear, you have a wind tunnel. Yep. She's a Bambi. You can tell. Look at the hair thing. Yep. Forget it. She's not getting late. Seventy-one percent. Oh, and last will be Pisces. Let's see what fat pig we have for this one. And Pisces is a hot Asian chick, eighty-nine percent, and she is again playing with her hair. Is this all these women do? Is play with their hair? Well, so. you know, we 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 had to audition them, and they, we weren't quite you sure what, what we what we wanted them to do. Right. Um, so uh, that, that, was, that was it, really. That's yeah. very good. Well, the Pisces okay. girl at the end, she was cute. There's a couple of cute ones in there this week. So yeah, yeah. that's very good. Congratulations. I, I must have missed the auditions when you guys had them. Yeah, well, yeah, but they're only on this side of the Atlantic. Huh? So, oh, that's, uh, okay. that's good. No, very nice. Congratulations. Are they going to be back next week or are we getting new girls next week? Uh, I, I it, it, was, it was a hard job auditioning them. So I doubt very much if we're going to have new you girls. Know, much well, so we're going to keep the week. 12 we have much of a weekly update but there could, there could be the odd one or two it just depends okay. on on uh, how things pan out uh, during the week i think more no worries all so, right well that was uh, nice that we had 12 different girls i was very that was that was good kudos to, yeah. to whoever auditioned them i mean there's a couple uh, ugly girls but that's fine yeah so, well you know we'd, we'd uh, it's only it's a matter of taste is it not my, all right off we go conspiracy theories oh, this will be good. what's our conspiracy theory of the week Yep, Denver Airport, Denver, Airport Denver Airport murals. Yeah, the everyone knows that. Okay, next. Okay, uh, oh, that went down well, didn't it? That was. Uh... Yeah, they the Denver Airport has all these murals. that are supposed to be conspiracy theories, the New World Order, blah 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 blah. Everyone, they've been talking about this for twenty years since it's been open. Um, this is like, it's just some weird artist. I think they have. I don't think it predicts anything. Unfortunately, the alien base under is true. But not uh, that one. So, huh. well, that went that went down well, crew. Who who, that? Who's, who's the, the idiot that did that? We're going to kill him. Who did that? Who slowed up the show? No. He's not here next week either. Right, right uh, which, uh, we but we better move on. That was that was rubbish, guys. I mean, really? <laughs> you spent you spent a week researching that? Wow. Well, fire him. So oh, people, people, people. I don't know. People, what are you gonna do? People. But what about uh, what about our audience? How are you doing? 
That's the cheeky cheeky crew. They're still enjoying themselves. We still, right. you know, we had a few, we had a few dodgy moments in there. But, yeah, we did. Uh, the, the, the cheeky like cheeky crew one. is still up. Eyes are still up. Okay, right. <laughs> oh, could you live okay, here? Oh, this is could you great. live here? Oh, here we go. It. There we go. Could we you go? live in what the hell? Punky <laughs> Doodles days. Corner. Punky Doodles Daughter. Uh, Punky, Punky Doodles Do Corner. Punky, Do Punky Doodles Corner in Canada. Yeah, in Canada um, yeah. What the hell? Could you live in Punky Doodles, possibly from a local tavern owner's nickname? Punky nickname, Doodles yeah. Corner. Yeah. Wow. I'm not even going to look up Punky Doodles Corner, but God bless you if, if that was your nickname. Punky Doodles. Okay. Okay. Punky Doodles, well, Canada. Uh, Hello. That, was, that wasn't that wasn't too bad. Who's with that? Punky, yeah. punky, you're a bunky, 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 bunky. Yeah, all right. I'm down. All we'll right. get me a you, slurpee. Yeah, so. So you're not going home yet, mate. It's too much, too much smog. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, okay, let's 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 move on. Uh, well, the oh, answer to the question of which animal can sleep up to three years in a row, it was a sloth, a snail, and a tortoise, and I said a snail. So let's see what it is. Okay. The it's snail. A, I was right. It's a snail. Hey, there you go. I like it. So I was right. Yeah. As usual. Anyway, that's good. Oh, look yeah. at that. Look no. at this. This is education. I'm surprised they don't show this in elementary schools. No, you can't. Yeah. Anyway. Well, they, the sex they, horoscopes, well, I, you think they'd have to edit it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they're probably going to be watching say, the sex horoscope. I was going to say, that's what the, that's what the kids the, are watching. But the, 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 the thing about the sex horoscope, which, which was, um, I think, when you when you watch the show back, you'll find yeah. that you were more excited about the ladies, Stephen, than you were about the about the, you know, the, the percentages of, of getting some hanky-panky. this. I tell you, I was more excited about making fun of them than I was the percentages because, yeah. you know, they were just doing stupid stuff. Like that one girl that has horse teeth. Yeah, she's not getting laid. I'm just yeah. saying. Unless you're yeah. a carrot. Yeah. No, she's well, not. It's, uh, it's difficult. So, so it remains a matter of text. Here we go. Bye. There you go. Oh, we have the AI slut of the week. So before yeah. we go, everybody, and I will close the ending so you don't have to touch it. So I'm just letting you know in advance. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Um, leave your comments, nasty or not. And if you want to call Michael's answering machine, email us. We'll give you the phone number. Feel free. Um, and that's it. We'll be back next Wednesday with another show that you don't really need and with news that you never know you needed, like the porn. By the way, I just have to let you know that we covered porn. The North Korean soldiers porn, and this yeah. week on Bill Maher and all the other shows, they all covered it. So they watched our show. They're behind the curve, Stephen. Behind the curve. Behind the curve. Yeah, everyone's behind the curve. And Lost Dollar Business Club, actually, we noticed on that show, on that, on that show, that all the news magazines and newspapers, after we do some stories, about two or three weeks later, they do the story. Yeah. So we just get a kick out of that. People are watching, and we don't get credit, but they watch. So anyway, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and like. Feel free to go to the merch store and buy some merch. It makes David happy. Um, and if you want, go to the Patreon page, and you can become a producer on one of our shows. Yeah, yeah, so it's on yeah. The, We're also on actually on 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 Blue Sky. If you want to uh, message Ooh. us on Blue Sky, David's um, in charge of that. So good luck with that. No, so. no, it's it's uh, it's uh, it's two two o f uh, Entertainment on Blue okay. Sky. We've moved on to Blue Sky because both Stephen and I. Um, I'm not great fans of a particular gentleman who owns the other uh, rather large um, Twitter-like service. So there you uh, go. we thought we thought we'd move on to that. There you and, go. Um, yeah, yeah. Very so good. tune in next week, everybody. And uh, it's now AI a Baby of the Week. And goodbye, ah, David. See you later, see you big soon. guy. Cheers, everybody. Bye bye. Uh,